Okay. Uh, hi, it's Kelly Boyd again. Um, listening to all the discussions and having experienced um, the consultation process over the past year, um, I've come to recognise that um, democracy is a delicate thing and a vote is a precious gift. And trust once destroyed needs to be rebuilt from scratch. Can you convince me why you would be worthy of my vote? We have a, a first taker for that question. Because what you'll get from me is total honesty. Oh. You will. I will never put my personal interest before what I believe is the interest of this borough. And I have consistently shown that over the years. Whatever my political opponents may throw at me and challenge decisions that have been made, I do it with integrity. And I do not fight for things that make me po I do not say things that are going to make me popular, like I will support the Croft decision because I think it's the right decision for the community. Um, so you will get an honest answer. Is the, and that's the only way I can put it. Because whatever <coughs> anybody thinks, these decisions <coughs> are not simple. They are incredibly complex. And you, somebody has to sit there and balance up all the complexity of what's in front of you, and somebody has to make a decision, and somebody has to stand by the decision that's been made. And that is what I do on a daily basis. Um, and I really do bitterly regret that there's any, that this division over Croft is not helpful. As a community, it is not helpful. And can I just say, all of the stuff I heard about Croft, it was all assertions. It was all assertions about safety. Every member of the planning committee across three parties voted for that proposal because they believed that the planning application in front of them uh, was fit for purpose. All right, what I'm saying, nobody voted against it. If there was, if there was serious concern, if there was serious concerns, uh, there would have been a much more split vote on that, but there was not. This, this safety issue, this safety issue. You know, it's, it's about reality. Halpro did most of the work on this. We have to trust somebody in the system. Uh, I, you know, nobody's going to take uh, safety lightly. Coming back to trust issue, you know, it is about engagement. I engage with people on a daily basis. I will do it honestly, openly, and with integrity. I have no axe to grind. I'm not out to political. I'm not out to further any career or anything in this. I came into this to serve my community. At the time I came into it, I never expected to be leader. To be honest. I just wanted to be a board councillor. That's the only thing, reason I joined the council, was to step up and try and be useful. But where trust fails, it is a problem. But, you know, well, decisions have to be made. Al Crow and Capita were not independent. Well, OK. Yeah. As long as it's very brief, please. So if this is such a good decision and a good process, why weren't the public involved in 2009 when you decided the school was going to be there? That's a fundamental question for me. It was decided in 2009. Why wasn't the public yeah. involved well, in this? Excuse me, this is not really a hustling question. Please. Well, you know, the public might want to know, but I think we have to ask afterwards. Yeah, I think... I think but people on the floor are also concerned that there's rather a lot on the uh, school, so let's let's see. Well, well, I, I think you have to allow a couple of answers if people want. <laughs> well, okay. I listened to the question. Why would you ask me? Uh, why would I ask you to vote for me? That's what you ask. Yeah. Well, um, I accept what the leader of the council said. The majority of councillors come into local government for the right reasons, and I, I, you know, I can't play party politics <coughs> with this particular issue, because we all come in with the aim of doing what we think is good for the community. The problem is, the longer we become councillors, the more we tend to get um, alienated from the community if we're not very careful. As a Liberal Democrat councillor over 20 years, I can assure you that I have communicated with my electorate on a regular basis. I've, I've worked with residents' associations, been part of them. And I think that's the way it should be. 